Hi everyone, welcome to Covered Bridge on TV8. My name is Kim Fuller, the editor-in-chief of Covered Bridge magazine. And I'm Bobby LaRue, the other owner and director of partnerships at Covered Bridge magazine. We're here today with Tracy Von Curran of Foods Avail. Yeah. Tracy, thank you so much for being here with us. It's pretty <laughs> exciting. Uh, Tracy's been in the Valley for quite some time. And mm -hmm. if you have not been to Foods Avail, I recommend swinging by there. Uh, Tracy, how long has Foods Avail been going on? Um, almost 35 years. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So just new time. to the valley then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I moved here in 1979. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. I know. So What's your a... background in, in culinary, Tracy? Well, my background is in business. Mm -hmm. I went to business school, but then when I decided that I wanted to um, venture into the culinary realm in a, in a business, I went to France and went to cooking school. It's a place it was to fabulous. go. Just fabulous. And I did lots of little mini um, seminars and courses, um, you know, primarily self-taught, but um, France was really a game changer. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Great. Yeah. Well, um, I'm open to learning all about this wonderful recipe. We're featuring the Asian pasta salad in the summer and fall issue of Covered Bridge. Beautiful photo to compliment, and we get to see it made here live. Mm -hmm. So um, walk us through, Tracy. How do we begin this recipe? Um, I would begin by uh, cooking your pasta. In the recipe, I wrote that um, you, to use spaghetti, but when I'm doing a smaller batch, I love angel hair. Mm. I just love the way it feels on your mouth, so yummy and slippery. And so I love this um, Italian angel hair because I feel like the semolina uh, flour really makes the pasta more durable and will hold up to, you know, the the dressing and the vegetables. Mm -hmm. um, so I like to start with um, the dressing. So it's a, a mayo-based dressing, so we're going to just start with our mayo. Perfect. And in the, the magazine, I believe it's a serving size about six to eight. Um, and if, if that's what we're working with today, then we'll, you know, guests will be able to know, or not guess, yeah, guess. If you're having guests over, this is the perfect size. Yeah, for a it picnic. might be a little bit more, you know. Okay. It might, it might, might serve a little bit more. Okay, perfect. But, okay, so start with your mayo. And then over here, I have all these fabulous ingredients. So um, they're not totally pre-measured, but you can get the recipe mm -hmm. in, the, in the magazine. So mm -hmm. I'm going to start with like a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do... A little bit of this sambal olek. This mm. is like an Indonesian um, chili spice, chili paste, and it's very spicy. So I would start light, and then you can always add more later. Depending on your spice exactly, level, yeah. Exactly, mm. exactly. Then I like to put just like a hint of sesame oil in there to mm. give it that yummy umami undertone. Um, this is tamari. I use tamari instead of um, soy sauce because it's gluten-free. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. even though we are having it on pasta, but we j only use tamari in our shop. Um, and then a little squirt mm -hmm. of sriracha because we all love sriracha. Yeah. Again, you can go a little heavier, you know, if you like the spice to be a little bit elevated. Mm -hmm. And then... The um, rice wine vinegar, this is like a toasted rice wine vinegar or a seasoned rice wine vinegar. Um, mm, maybe about a quarter cup because that's mm. going to balance out um, the richness of the mayonnaise and those other spices. And kind of what you're looking for is like a little hot pink. Oh, I forgot my favorite. Ooh. The Thai chili sauce. We all love this. It's wow. like... The new ketchup. Uh, <laughs> you can dip anything in it, and that's going to give it a little sweetness. It has a little heat to it, but it really mostly has a lot of sweetness. So now you have this uh -huh. really, really, really pretty um, base. Oh, I was going to let you taste it. Yeah, it took Here no time go. at all. Here yeah. you go. Here, what do you Hope think? To try taste this out. that. Mm -hmm. How is it, Bobby? Mm. That's Spicy? amazing. Isn't that yummy? And it took you like. Yeah, like, what, three minutes? Yeah, not even. <laughs> yeah, so now I'm, I'm going to take my pasta, uh -huh. and I'm going to put the sauce, the, mm -hmm. the dressing mm -hmm. in there. Can you hand me those, Tom? Of tongs? course. Yeah, and so we'll give this, you know, a nice toss. And, you know, pasta always soaks up the dressing. Uh -huh. So we're just going to start with, with that, and then we can 
toss it again a little bit later mm -hmm. if we want. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then here, the vegetables that we put in there are sugar snap peas. Mm -hmm. You can see those. And I've chopped those up. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then we've got some scallion, so mm -hmm. some green onion. Put those in there. Uh, red bell pepper. You can do these either in chunks or in like little batons, if you will, like, you know, make them a little bit bigger. Sometimes mm -hmm. I think a little bigger is better because then you can snag it with your fork. Yeah, a little more crunch when you want it, right? Yeah. And, you know, sometimes when they're really small, you know, you just can't get them with your fork. So I like them just slightly bigger. So I love then, this dish for the season because it can be a main core, you know, a, a great oh. lunch item, or it can be a side at a picnic. You know, I mm -hmm. have put chicken on this. Mm -hmm. I have I put shrimp mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. Really good, because then it can be like a main course, you know, al fresco mm -hmm. um, dinner. Yeah, you could and package a, this up. Yeah, it's a great picnic item. Yeah, now, is this a salad bravo. that you serve at Foods of Ale? We do. Okay. We do. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing is we like to have a little cilantro. And nice, but you don't have to pick the cilantro off like you do parsley because the stems are okay so so i'm just kind of rolling it into a little bunch mm. and then i'm just going to give chop. it a rough chop mm. yeah nice. and um it doesn't have to be real fine either i like to really get that flavor and see so how gloves on best mm. tools in the world mm. to just absolutely toss all this together pretty bright looking salad. So like Kim said, it's also, you know, time of the year, right? I mean, it, it almost reminds you of spring and summer. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I'd eat it all year long. Oh yeah, I happen to just love it. Do you want to bring that bowl a little closer? Yeah. That serving bowl? I think we'll be bringing this to Bravo Vale there this summer. There you go, and then Perfect just kind of put item. it all in there. Wow. There yeah. you go. And then Beautiful. let's Gosh, just... Amazing. Grab a little bit of our black sesame seeds. Uh huh. You know, just for a, a little finishing touch. Wow. Finishing touch. I think that makes that so beautiful. What do you think? Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's, yeah. Wow, and looks. I uh, hope you guys are ready for lunch. Delicious. Yeah. Yeah, I hope you're ready for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> so, Foods of Vale is in Avon. We are. Yeah. Tell us how to find you, and also. In terms of ordering things ahead of time, mm -hmm. how how big can you handle? How you know you can also walk in and get a soup if yeah, you're yeah a, yeah we, a diner. we have a brick and mortar mm -hmm. so you can walk in you can take a look at all of our beautiful salads and you can just buy them by the pound. We have fresh salmon. We have always like a chicken piccata. Um, you know, in the winter we might have more savory things like meatloafs and short ribs. Um, then we also have a whole freezer case full of lasagnas and chicken pot pies and King Ranch casseroles, and then soups galore. Mm -hmm. I mean, so you can come in and stock up your freezer. It's a great opportunity not to cook. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then we do have um, a full menu that you can order, um, all kinds of um, platters of food for parties, graduation parties, um, um, rehearsal dinners. We do a total off-premise catering mm -hmm. uh, component as well. So yeah. like this past uh, Saturday, we did the prom. Oh yeah, we did food fun. for the prom. We did, <laughs> and then the night before that, we did a rehearsal dinner. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, all kinds of events have happening in this valley. Mm. Yeah, and if you haven't had an opportunity, I know when I'm driving around delivering magazines or looking for the next ad sale, I'm hungry a lot of times. And there's not a lot of quick options yeah. that are actually healthy options. Mm -hmm. I've gone to Foods Avail several times, get myself a nice piece of chicken parmesan and a little side yeah. salad or just a soup to go. And I think, you know, people should really yeah. look at you as that too. It's like, yes, you do catering, but it's a great spot to just grab a bite to eat quickly as well. Absolutely. We have um, a few seats inside and then in the summer we can spill outside. So we do have some, you know, outdoor options for dining. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're right, it's fast. You know, you're just hungry, you come in, People come in and say, just give me, you know, five ounces of chicken salad, and they just grab it and go. Wow. Well, Tracy yeah. Van Curen, thank you so much for You're nourishing so our valley and for sharing this beautiful recipe, Asian pasta salad, which you can also find in the summer and fall issue of Covered Bridge. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for watching Covered Bridge on TV8. We'll see you next time. See ya.